Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTix.com. We've got a Z Blaze Stratos. This is the three now in the Ultra configuration. We took a look at the Stratos 2 Ultra recently and that one was hot. So going to be fun to see what's new in this one. Uh, here's some information on the back for you. Fine details and it's in a sleeve this time. Hashtag Brave Your Adventure with an open... Otherwise, a basic black box. Lift the lid. Wow. Okay. There you go. Fancy. And then there's a manual in here, which we'll get to in a minute. And the watch itself. I want to show you that one. It's using the Z Blaze Fit app this time. There's the watch already put together. And this one is a uh, white basic uh, body and band with kind of a gunmetal... Um, bezel on it. Where can you get it? Glad you ask. From the Z Blaze official store on AliExpress. It's about 50 bucks or so and uh, all decked out. Does all kinds of good things. You're about to see that. Check the show notes for a buying link uh, and possibly some good discount coupons if you're interested in this one. As far as specs go, there are a bunch of them. We'll highlight some of them. It's Ultra GPS, of course. It's using the dual frequency, uh, five different satellite positioning systems, the ultra high definition AMOLED screen display, and certified to the MIL standard 810H uh, requirements, 15 of them. You got a compass, barometric uh, altimeter, 120 different sporting modes on this one, hi fi, Bluetooth calling, and of course, five ATM waterproof as well. Spec wise, You've got a 300 milliamp hour battery in here, 466 by 466, 1.43 inch screen, 1000 nits brightness, really, really nice. Bluetooth 5.3 running on this one. There's your health features and your lifestyle features. And just in case you're interested in all 120 of the different sporting activities, here's the list. Yeah, nice. Now, when we go deeper in the box, we've got a charging connector on the side, it looks like, inside of its own little bitty box. Okay. Inside of a little plastic. Wow, they're really taking care <laughs> for the charging wire. I've never seen one so delicately packaged before. Two pin standard magnetic coupled charger goes like that and not really strong enough to hold the watch but it'll definitely charge it. Looks like we've got a little film on the back you want to take that off and of course we took the front one off as well and uh, somewhere down deep inside of here there it is is the manual right let's take a quick look at the manual. Basic information on charging and uh, where you want to wear it, about a finger's distance up on your wrist to get good readings for heart rate and such. The QR code for scanning to get the Z Blaze Fit app. Uh, what You can use the link in the show notes if you want to, to uh, jump over and pick it up as well. Here's some information on how to do the straps, some safety instructions. Basic, basic stuff in here. It went to a different language. Uh, you really are supposed to get uh, the information uh, on how to use the watch from watching watch reviews. I'm glad you're here. Let's check it out. Now, not only is it available in this white and uh, black bezel uh, configuration, but they've made it in a solid black one as well. Now, the bezels are exactly the same, but the casing and, of course, the integrated band are a bit different. We're actually going to play with this one today because I want to compare it. It looks almost the same as the Stratus uh, 2 Ultra. The 3 Ultra has two buttons. The 2 Ultra has three buttons. The 3 is smaller than the 2. You press and hold the top button and turn both of them on. And uh, we're going to go into a more of a comparison later with, uh, there you go, a little bit longer for this one to go. A com better comparison with this uh, a little bit later. I want to focus on this particular watch today, the Stratus 3 Ultra. But um, just let me tell you right up front, they're pretty much identical watches internally. The... Um, 
screens are exactly the same size, same quality, same AMOLED screen. This is smaller, more compact, better designed for a woman's body or a thin-wristed man's body. This one is uh, a little bit beef beefier, bigger, bigger battery, metal case, and more expensive. But for comparison purposes, we'll save that for a later day. Let's walk through this one. You see it's already set up to go into the always-on display mode. By the way, there's like four of them on here, and I don't know, there's 20 different always-on displays you can get on the uh, Stratus 2 Ultra. Stratus, True is a, Stratus 2 Ultra is a notch above the Stratos 3 Ultra in all kinds of different ways. And my recommendation would be if you can afford it and you want it and a lar little larger watch is you go ahead and get the Stratos 2 Ultra. Here we have an opening watch face. When you slide down, you get notifications sent from your phone. Slide up and you get these controls. You only have six showing on the screen, not as many as um, you have on the other one. And you have a fewer capabilities. You do have twist your wrist to see the time. Um, you have to shake the water to get the water out of it. It's waterproof and all of that stuff. Uh, very, very similar uh, in nature. When you come across, you've got your um, chart showing you your heart rate for the day, and it'll immediately start measuring your heart rate if you've got the diodes covered in the back. It'll show you your high, your low, and your average. Come over here, you've got blood oxygen. It will also give you the complete chart if you have it set up for that throughout the day. And it'll take a measurement. Takes a little while to get that, but generally speaking, it's going to be between um, 95 and 100. So you see the chart goes 70 to 100. Here's stress. I do have the stress turned on. It's showing you kind of a stress number. This takes even longer, like almost a whole minute. But you start it, you let it just sit there and do its thing, and um, it will measure your overall stress, again, using the diodes in the back uh, technology. Now, after that, you've got your last night's sleep information. It shows you a, a, a number. That's how well your sleep was. It does show you the full chart here on the watch with your breakdown of time you spent in each of the different zones. And of course, when you sync this to the app, and that's a difference between the two, this uses the um, Z-Blaze Fit app, their new app, whereas the Stratus 2 Ultra is using Glory Fit app. Now, it's possible that one may also work with the Z-Blaze Fit. I haven't tried that, but... Uh, this one definitely is meant for that. So this just loops around in both directions. And uh, when you swipe up, you saw all of that stuff. And down, you see that. So those are all the different positions. Now, when you press on the side button, here's all your apps. And you can have a different background if you want to. A wallpaper, flat black if you want to as well. This is your overall step count information, calories burned, uh, numbers of times you've been standing throughout the day, distance traveled in your walking steps. You have your various workouts in here. 120 or so that you can add into this. The Stratus 2 Ultra has 170. All these different little differences. Um, your overall history, if you've done any exercises, they'll show up there. This is Rapid Health. It measures a lot of the different biometrics at once when you touch the button. I'm going to show it to you uh, and skip this waiting time. Here we go. Almost there. Counting down. And after 90 seconds, it gives you your heart rate, your blood oxygen, and your stress level. All three of those measured at once, but it does take uh, a minute and a half to get it all done. And that's in the rapid health um, option there. Blood oxygen separately, last night's sleep you saw, and stress is available. Your breathing exercises, you can set time and rate, and it'll have you inhale and exhale when you start it. Gives you a countdown. When it begins now, you see a little graphic and there's a vibration on where it says exhale and a vibration on inhale. And you could just pattern uh, with this by looking at it or closing your eyes and feeling the vibration as it goes along. And again, you get that set for the length of time that you want it to work. When we got heart rate, uh, cycles is... Um, Managing the menstrual cycle for ladies, you set that up in the app and it'll tell you information. 
Uh, it's a Bluetooth calling watch. Both of the Stratos Ultras are. And, of course, you can set up your calls, your keypad, uh, your favorite contacts, and so forth. has weather uh, that you can set up in it, with temperature and forecast. And it'll pull that off of the web. So you have to, uh, of course, have Bluetooth connection to your phone to get it. Reminders are in here. It's got a music player that's disconnected right there. Um, alarm clocks and timers, um, basic stopwatch, and we always test to see if it'll run in the background. Well, it tells us it won't. Okay, exit. But nice uh, big digits on that one. Beyond uh, stopwatch, we've got a keypad. Okay, did I skip that one? Oh, yeah, that's for making phone calls. Um, that's part of that apparatus. A world clock, if you want to program it with different cities to see what the time is at any of the cities. Find your phone. It'll ring the phone when you have it paired there. You've got a little basic calculator in here. Pretty small digits on this one. Okay, but it works. Uh, barometer. And uh, there's your air pressure. And you can come over here and get your altitude in feet or meters that you set up in the parameters in the app. So that's pretty nice. And it seems to be pretty accurate overall when you have it calibrated right. And then there's the built-in compass, watch faces and settings. So compass, we have to calibrate this. And after a little bit, you get the compass in here. And this is an interesting one. Look at that. You've got a north constantly pointing in the direction of north. You've got the direction actually here underneath the uh, digits. Uh, and it's working really, really good. Now, you notice I'm holding the watch end to end. That's because through experience, I've learned that some of these smart rings that I've got can actually mess with the calibration of the compass. You see that? So... Warning, if you decide to buy a smart ring, you might want to make sure you don't have it too close to the watch uh, to mess with its compass if you've got a compass. Speaking of, I've got a upcoming video that's going to take a very deep look at all of the watch uh, rings that I've been reviewing all year long and help you cut through all the chatter to figure out which ring might be best for you. So be sure you check that video out. Where were we? We were at the compass, right? And that was way down at the bottom. And then we went over to uh, watch faces. This is the same as pressing and holding on the watch face. You can change to any of them that you like. Got some digital ones, some nice uh, combination ones. Uh, very extensive watch faces. And this is one that I installed as a custom face, and this is another one. You can put two custom faces in this watch. I think you can have up to four in the Stratus 2 Ultra. Uh, and then these are the stock faces it comes with. And they're not active buttons. Oh, yes, they are. The ones on the side, these are information. But you can go into settings, which was the last thing we were going to go to anyway. Here we are. You have your brightness control. We're at a level two. You can go down to there or all the way up to over a thousand nits. Yes, that's still yellow right there, but it's completely washed out. We have to run this at about a two so it looks good on the screen. Overall sound and vibration, you can silence it, change the sound, change the overall volume on it if you want to. This is the twist your wrist to see the time, which you can turn on and off, uh, and you can toggle that. You can set it for all day, or you can set a schedule and set the time you'd like it to start and stop, so it won't bother you at night when you're in bed. That's your raise the wrist to see the time. This cover to stop lets you literally cover the uh, watch face, and it will um, turn off the screen for you. Or go into the always-on display if you've set that up. There's auto lock. This is how long it'll be before it times out. Set back to 10 seconds and head into always on display. And you can see here, we can um, set this for a schedule, which is what I've got it on right now. Turn it on or turn it off. And the watch faces now that it can go into, there's four of them. Here's a digital one. I'm sorry, an analog one. There's a nice uh, bright digital one with a tad, tad bit of color in it. I like that one. That's the fourth one, the third one. Second one is similar, but without the markings on the side. And the first one is an up and down digital. So I'm going to pick that one because I like that one. And when we uh, turn it off, 
And I think that was everything here, right? The do not disturb, you can turn that on and off or have a smart mode or put on a schedule. Your overall layout, this is for how we look at things. We're doing it in a list, but you can have a scatter style or a wheel. Those are the three different styles. Okay, we got the layout. Then we got auto detect. This will automatically check and, and see if you're walking uh, or running. And if you are, it will trigger it to start recording that for you. It does dive into the battery a little bit, so you can choose to leave it on or off if you want to. And that's on the auto detect of exercises. I don't like how the settings takes you back to the top every time, but we're just paging through them. There's about your phone calling, how to use Bluetooth calling, how to set it up, basic instructions, which you really don't need as a button in here. Then there's about the watch, and this tells you that this is the Stratos 3 Ultra, your Bluetooth information and such. Uh, QR code for uh, downloading the app and pairing it. And then your overall system, which is reboot, power off, and reset the watch completely. So those are all of the settings, which was the last item on your app drawer. And we're back here. So if I cover the display, it's off. Why? Because we have it in the twist your wrist to see the time. There, and you saw the other one come through just for a moment. If I go in here and I turn that off, now, when you turn the screen off, and you can't turn the screen off with that button, and this button invokes your uh, different workout activities that you can use. So we have to cover the screen. Wait for a second. Come on, you're supposed to go into the always on display. Did I turn that off? Let's check that. Go into settings. Always on display. I'm going to say all day just to make sure it's set and turn it off. Well, all right, that's a glitch, I guess. We'll let it time out and see what happens. It's set for just 10 seconds. And while we do that, I'll show you a little bit more of the watch build. You got a microphone over here and speakers over here for the audio. No, it's completely off there. Okay, I twisted the wrist to bring it up into the always on screen. Crazy. But there's your step count, the date, and uh, nice big digits for your time. And that will be on your watch all the time now. You don't have the ability on this one to set it to touch it to turn it on, but you do on the Stratus 2 Ultra. Lots of little subtleties that make it nicer. This is like flying in coach and the other one's flying in business class. <laughs> but other than that, the rest of it is pretty much the same. Okay, that's pretty much it for the watch. Want to see another face? It looked like it put us in that change. There we go. Let's take a, a look at the, um, the Z Blaze app. So from the Google Play Store, we're looking for the Z Blaze Fit app. That's what you're looking for in terms of a thumbnail. You get it installed on your phone and you open it. And then, of course, you go and you set up the uh, watch itself. And it's really easy to do that. It's going to tell you it's running in the background, show you a picture of the watch there, and land you on the opening health page. Now, it's synchronizing it as it connects in, and it shows you and it'll initially your overall uh, performance with rings on calories, distance, and step count all broken down here as well. You can tap this. No, I can't. Okay, step count. That'll take you in here, and you see the steps by hour and the comparisons with yesterday. Day, week, and month are on here as well. Distance is doing the same thing with a little chart, uh, which I think should automatically scale to basically roughly how many steps you do per hour. Go down if you have a big one, yeah, but it's kind of small. Um, well, maybe I should be getting out and walking more, right? Maybe that's the lesson. Calories are listed here as well, and um, that's just another chart. And then your heart rate. Now, the continuous heart rate is here. You touch on it, you'll see a value at a specific time on the specific date, max, min, and average, and a little bit of a description about that. Workout. This is where you uh, would see your data if you've done any uh, workouts. Uh, again, they're similar in how they would uh, be performed on uh, this and the other um, 
Z Blaze watches. Last night's sleep time. Now, here you get the complete chart showing you your rapid eye movement. Wide awake, just a little bit there. Looks like I had a bunch of good dream time going on. Here's the distribution. Uh, wow, 51% in uh, rapid eye movement. And it's true, I did have pretty vivid dreams last night. Very interesting. Um, and what else have we got? We've got blood, oxygen, women's health, all kinds of things. Here's an individual dot of when I took a reading manually with it. And then you've got uh, the women's health when you set up the menstrual period information, save it. There's the calendar, and you can have device alert and all kinds of things associated with that. Here's your effective standing. You have to get up and move around, and they want you to do it 12 times a day. That's only half of the day, guys. And then stress. Your overall stress level is here. Notice I cannot activate any of the actions from the app itself. There's no instant testing remotely available, which is unfortunate because I like that feature, especially back when we had COVID and you needed to be able to check somebody in a different uh, location, um, isolated, and just have them wear the watch. But not so with the Z-Blaze um, particular app that goes with these watches. Exercises here uh, it shows you your uh, graphical chart of your workouts, devices. Here's the device itself, the dial center, and there's a bunch of different uh, dials that you can install. But again, you can only put two of them on the watch out of all of these, and it only has three custom ones. So you're not going to walk around with a whole bunch of watch faces as you would in the Stratus 2 Ultra. Uh, but you can selectively install. That's the one I have on there right now uh, from among all of these. And any of these categories you can go into, and they'll expand into uh, a longer list of faces. So if you're into faces, uh, you have quite a few you can work with, just limited number you can have on the watch itself. A lot of these faces are also um, supported on the Stratus 2 Ultra. So between the two, you've got them, uh, you've got them both. You got some more controls on here, your overall device settings for power savings, time, sport mode selection, which ones you want to have show up on the watch so that you can uh, activate them easily out of your 120 some odd reset, unbind, all of that stuff is in here. And your call settings now for Bluetooth calling. This is where you go in, turn that on. That's connecting the Bluetooth aspect in your phone to your watch so the two of them can um, communicate and you can do your, your Bluetooth calls and um, those kind of things. Find your device, languages. The AGPS is for your GPS. And of course, it has GPS built into the watch. Um, it will do this automatically in the background if you want to uh, make sure you keep your watch paired to it. And that helps GPS lock in quicker because it updates the actual location of all of the, the different satellites. The world clock where you would set the time and your basic about the device and then about you, your personal information, units that you can select, and um, data authorization, accounts and security, and about the app itself. That's the version we're running today. Pretty straightforward and simple. Um, that's the app, and this is what it looks like on. So this is the um, Z Blaze 3 Ultra. Stratus 3 Ultra, and this is the Z-Blaze Stratus 2 Ultra. And once again, you can pick it up in either the, uh, the white or the black version. They both are attractive, um, and they would coordinate very nicely together with the Stratus 2 Ultra if you're inclined to get that one as well. Remember, three buttons on the 2, two buttons on the 3, <laughs> and both of them are available from AliExpress. So get the buying link in uh, the show notes for both of them. But since today's video is on the Stratus 3 Ultra, we'll show you this one. It's about $50, so it's less expensive than the Stratus 2 Ultra. But it's also less capable across the board in several different ways. Hopefully later on we'll do a comparison of these twos and maybe throw in that new Cospet round watch that we just reviewed too because it's awful close to both of these and I think that would be a good mix to review those three together. Alrighty gang, that's it for today. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.